Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to do a formal, uh, I guess, unveiling of my studio space. I haven't done it and I wanted to do a bit of like a gear review, studio review. So I published my first video on this channel December 8th of 2015. I didn't really have a whole lot of equipment. Actually, the first thing I had was this uh, Blue Yeti mic and this Canon T3i, which this has actually been uh, with me since the very beginning of this channel. I'll probably never sell it or get rid of it. It's actually probably worthless now, but I switched over to the GoPro just to show you guys this. I don't believe you could even buy this camera anymore, nor should you, because there's a ton of other things out there that are clearly better than this camera at this point. But this will forever live on my desk, and I'll, I'll keep shooting with it as long as it keeps working. So one thing I want to tell you guys right up front, all of this equipment that I have, the majority of it, comes from either doing product reviews or doing uh, work for people that uh, said, hey, would you mind doing this project for me? And I would say, sure, but I need uh, this equipment and that equipment. Uh, don't worry about paying me. If you cover the equipment, I'll, I'll do it. So reach out to some companies around and, or people that you know and ask, say, hey, do you have anything that you would like me to do for you guys? And if they say yes, use it as an opportunity to, instead of making a few dollars, get a piece of, of equipment or uh, add to the things that you have if you're really serious about this YouTube thing. Um, I do recommend that as a way to to maybe pick up some equipment. So what I'm gonna do is walk you guys through basically the equipment that I use on a daily basis. I will get to like the microphone and soundboard, uh, kind of work my way around the room and, and back to this main setup. The first thing that I have is this go bag. It's the bag that I take with me every single day. So. If I'm going to be on the motorcycle or uh, even just on my way to work or whatever, I just throw that bag in the car because it has all of my GoPros and the basics. If, if something were to happen I wanted to film, I could do it on the spot. So what I have here is a GoPro Hero 8, which I'm actually testing right now. I haven't done a video on that yet, but that will be coming out. I also have a GoPro Hero 7, which GoPro sent to me last year when the GoPros came out. The 8 I actually bought myself this year. And, uh, but the 7 was provided to me. I did a review on that. That was pretty awesome. And then I also have two GoPro Hero 5s. You would ask yourself, do you need all those GoPros? The answer is no, you don't. Of course not. But the more you have, the more you can do multi-angle clips and stuff like that. And uh, it works out really well. And then I also usually keep one in the car. And I'll run that as a dash cam because I have it. So I'll use it. And it does kind of work out uh, good for that. In that same bag, I also have, obviously, just a handful of some GoPro mounts. I do have another bag which I do recommend, I do recommend these bags. These are, uh, are, I found them on Amazon, super cheap. They're like shower bags, but I use them for uh, being able to separate out my, my stuff so that it's kind of organized in that Go bag. Uh, these are all my GoPro mounts. So I have a ton of these. I don't usually carry all those GoPro mounts with me, uh, but I do carry just a few of them and a little tripod in that uh, GoPro bag. I also have my audio bag, which as you see here, I have a Zoom H4n, which is a really awesome audio recorder. When I first got it, it was it was probably more than what I needed at the time, but it's, it's really an awesome uh, recorder. And I use that for a lot of my stand-up shots. So if you guys see me out standing in front of a camera, typically what I'll do is just plug in a lapel mic and run that uh, down in like my back pocket or something and uh, record audio separate from the camcorder. Uh, because it just helps, uh, you know, better audio. And, and that's one of the things I tell people all the time. I would almost tell you to worry about your audio quality first before you worry about video quality. Now, if you're going to use an audio recorder, definitely carry headphones. You always want to check that audio quality uh, because I have had it where I just decided to think I had it all figured out, record a whole video, and it was all garbage. So uh, it's always good to just check audio prior to running a video. I do carry a little toiletry bag because if I'm riding back and forth to work, uh, when I get to work, I need to fix the helmet hair and, uh, you know, hair gel is part of that. So I do carry a little toiletry bag. And then I also have this bag uh, full of cables for GoPros and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's pretty much my daily, you know, everyday carry bag. And another thing that I have here, which is new to the fleet of cameras, is the DJI Mavic 2 Pro Zoom. <laughs> I believe it's a mouthful to get out. And... Uh, that drone is awesome. I started filming with drones a long time ago. I've been into the drone scene for, for quite a while. And um, uh, DJI is is just the name. Uh, they're the best, best out there by far. 
Now to get to the uh, big dog camera, this is a Panasonic HCX1. And right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, I cannot afford this camera. Last year, before I went to Barrett Jackson, I reached out to Panasonic and said, I got media passes for Bar Barrett Jackson. I would like to have a, uh, a camera that is, um, you know, something a little bit more professional. I would like to test some things. Uh, what do you guys have? And they said, hey, we'll send you out this uh, HCX1. You can have it for a couple weeks. And um, I said, yeah, I'll give it a shot and do some reviews on it. Turns out that a camera like this is so incredibly advanced that I have still yet to do a review on this. That review will come soon because this thing is absolutely incredible. Is it necessary for somebody starting up on YouTube? No, but the one thing this camera does is when you walk into some place, you look like you belong there. Uh, it's such a legitimate rig that uh, it just, it's pretty awesome. And the video this thing shoots is, is pretty crazy. So uh, a lot of buttons and stuff on this thing when you first get into it, it's very intimidating. But since then I've, I've learned how to do some pretty, pretty cool stuff with this camera. So this HCX1 is, is awesome. If you're interested in a little bit more of a professional camcorder, I'll link it down below. Do I expect people to drop this kind of money? Uh, probably not, but again, Panasonic, you know, thank you very much. So why do I still have this camera? Well, after a couple of weeks of testing it, I reached out to those guys and said, hey, you sent me a camera and the packaging you sent that was supposed to have like an RMA or, you know, a return label, didn't it didn't have one. So I reached out and said, where do you guys want me to send this back? And uh, they never got back to me. I actually sent probably, I don't know, half a dozen emails and, uh, and they never got back to me. So actually as of this week, I just went and took an old case that I had here, which I used to camera, carry camera gear in and I ordered some new foam and this is going to live in there because uh, I couldn't afford to replace this thing right now. So, so that camera is, is awesome. Again, thank you, Panasonic. I don't know. I almost felt like maybe they were... Uh, intentionally turning the other way on that. I, I don't know if it was a, a gift from the people I was talking to because they were, they were really cool the whole time through. And uh, I, I don't know, I, but I'm not going to complain about it. So, uh, so there's that. Now, as far as this whole studio mixing board setup that I have here, the, uh, this is the Mackie Pro FX8 V2 mixer. And if you are looking for uh, upping your audio game on YouTube for things like this, being able to, to shoot kind of in a studio setting. This mixing board is absolutely awesome. Now, this has a USB connection so you can hook your computer to it. And as you guys see, I just use the audio recorder on my Mac, hook it up to the USB on the mixer, and that's all she wrote. This Rode NT1A microphone is is really good. I, I like the sound uh, out of it. It's, it to me, it's it's a really uh, great sounding microphone. And uh, the stand I bought is actually just kind of a cheap little stand for it, but it gets the job done. And of course, there's like a pop filter that comes with it and all that stuff. So uh, that's my setup uh, currently right now. The Mac that I am uh, using for editing is uh, just it's a, actually a, a mid 2015. MacBook Pro. Uh, hopefully I have a good year on YouTube because I think I need a, uh, a new Mac coming up soon. This thing is, uh, yeah, it's, it's pushing, uh, oh, it's over four years old. So uh, basic, pretty much basic Mac. It has 16 gigs of, of memory and it, it has the 250 gig hard drive. If you are buying a Mac, don't go cheap on the hard drive. You will regret it. I have now two external four terabyte hard drives. It's always good to have external hard drives for uh, dumping stuff onto, but to be able to edit out of the house, uh, that 250 gigs fills up pretty quick. And uh, of course I use uh, Final Cut Pro for all of my editing. So there you have it. That's pretty much my entire setup. There's not much more to go over than that. So I just wanted to share with you guys everything that I use. It's been uh, four years, actually I just looked it up, four years and one day from the time I started this journey, if you're going to get into YouTube, it's a grind. It's a long grind and you have to stay patient and just kind of keep pushing through it. You, you know, you'll, you'll score some things here and there and, uh, you know, it kind of comes in waves. It's, it's how much work you put in is what you get out of it. And sometimes you feel like you're putting more into it than what you're getting out of it. But if you just keep your head down, keep working, keep pushing, 
I mean, only good things come out of it. So here I am now uh, coming into the end of the year. I'm about to hit uh, pretty close to a lot of the goals that I set for the end of this year. I'll share that with you guys in the near future. Hit 10,000 subscribers. It's awesome. I started selling merch on the channel. That's cool. So it's just, it, it, it really starts to come into play. And I just wanted to share with you guys yeah, you know, I have all this stuff. It's great. Uh, did I buy it all? No. I don't want to come off as like I'm trying to flash all this stuff that I've that I've you know bought or come off as uh, flexing because it's not. It's more or less flexing like the amount of work and effort that's gone into building all of this into something substantial. And uh, I'm really proud of it. So, guys, with that being said, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'll see you guys next time.